This is Joy Chappelle, his daughter yeah. here. Um, I'm dedicating this lecture to her memory. Joy passed away uh, about a month ago now. Yes, January 7th. January 7th. And she was, I call her a freedom fighter. She uh, helped defend the site on Duffield Street. I don't know how many of you uh, knew about that. But this was a site that was under pressure to be developed by um, the Brooklyn Downtown Development Corp. I, I don't think I have the exact name. But Joy kept saying, the oral history says this is an underground railroad site. The oral history says this is an underground railroad site. And what I watched was people saying, well, you know, it's the oral history. You, you know, it's not the same. It's not as important. So we can go in and destroy it and Joy and um, a coalition of active citizens actually found researchers who eventually corroborated the fact that this was indeed an underground railroad site. Next slide. So this is one of the buildings at Duffield Street. There was an eminent domain sign there, and I'm not, this lecture is not about how things fall out of black possession in the land, but eminent domain is another weapon, which I'm not gonna talk about, but it's another weapon inside of geography resistance. And when you go in Brooklyn and you see a structure that looks like this in downtown Brooklyn, you're kind of, 1845, I think, is when it was built, you begin to understand that there's a lot of history all around us, but it was Duffield Street. I had already developed my understanding of the geography when I got to Duffield Street. So when they said to me, oh, it's near water, I said, yep. They said, there's a black church around the corner. I said, yep. They said, there's supposed to be abolitionists here. I said, yep. Everything that I knew that would be critical for understanding the Underground Railroad was present on Duffield Street. And so I was able to really support Joy when I went back to the developers to say, you know what, she's got something here. This, this, there, there's enough indicators that this is probably an Underground Railroad site. Next slide. So this is for Joy, my freedom fighter friend. My, my truly wonderful, wonderful woman. And I want to just tell you that these preservation fights are virulent. And so I'm inside of those fights because the Underground Railroad properties are also often under siege. And so we're always struggling. We're always fighting against you know, all kinds of developers and preservationists always coming to the front. And you, know, you almost have to chain yourself to the bulldozer to save these sites. Um, 